I'm Spencer Lookaball, and this is the Midwest Photo Review of the all-new Sigma 40mm Art Series lens. I was really excited to use this lens uh, for a little bit because I've been such a big fan of the Sigma Art Series for so long. This is being filmed on my own 18 to 35, which is a great lens and I use very frequently. Um, I've come to expect a lot from the Art Series lenses. They're always very sharp. The color fringing is always really controlled. The focus is always good. Um, and long story short, this definitely met my expectations and in some cases exceeded them. Uh, I will of course share some sample images and I will touch on the focal length as well. It's a weird focal length sitting right between 35 and 50 millimeters. So some people may be confused or just unsure of why Sigma would do that. And I can sort of make a case for it and I'll spend a long time uh, at the end of the video talking about that and just giving my thoughts on it. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into the review. The first thing that I wanted to do with the 40 millimeter was just look at how its sharpness is at various apertures. So I took these two shots of my garage floor. The first one is at f1.4 and you can see that there's a good amount of light fall off uh, in the corners. And if we zoom in a little bit, the sharpness does decline a little from the center. If we jump to the next image at f8, you can see that that light fall off has disappeared almost entirely and the corners are much sharper if we zoom in. Now, this is pretty standard for most prime lenses, but I think if you are someone that's gonna shoot at wider apertures like 1.4 or 2 or 2.8 pretty frequently, the 40 millimeter is one of the better performers that I've seen recently, so I think you'd be really good with this lens. It's a sharp lens, and the 5D Mark IV isn't even the highest resolution camera out there. Judging by these images and all the other things that I shot with this lens in the time that I had it, I think even if you had a D850 or the A7R III, this lens would still resolve incredibly well. So I think it's a good all-arounder regardless of what platform you have, and it definitely lives up to the hype of all the other art series lenses. As far as focus is concerned, the 40 millimeter is a little slower than I expected it to be. I took it to a concert to shoot some images with it and found it to be a little slow. Um, as I flip through these images, you'll see that they look fine. The flare is really well controlled. They're all nice and sharp and everything. But I think had this been a little more energetic of a performance, I would have missed a lot more shots than I did. And I had a little bit of trouble even getting some of these in focus at times. I did shoot some portraits with the 40 millimeter outside in the daytime, and I found this is where the lens performed a little bit more like I expected it to. Um, you can see in all these images that this lens is incredibly sharp, and really there's not much else to say other than it is exactly what you would expect out of the Art Series lenses. This lens keeps everything nice and sharp. It was very accurate very fast. I didn't have any problems with this lens in this sort of situation. So while the low light was slower than I would have liked, I think if you are looking to either upgrade lenses or just interested in the 40 millimeter at all, I think it's going to perform every bit as well as the 35 or 50 in this situation. As far as sharpness and focusing goes, uh, I think the 40 millimeter is right up there with the 35 and 50 and delivers exactly what you'd expect. So if you're looking for the absolute best quality, this lens I think would be the way to go. The only caveat is that the low light focusing might be a touch slower than some of their other lenses. This is really the only issue I had with this lens while I was using it. And this is the 50 millimeter art series lens. You can see that it's a lot shorter and a lot more narrow than the 40 millimeter. And the 50 millimeter weighs about 815 grams, while the 40 millimeter weighs about 1200 grams. 
So there's also a sizable weight difference. If you're someone that's gonna be carrying these around all day, like if you're a wedding photographer, for instance, it's something to take into consideration if you're someone that likes to use primes a lot. If you shoot with zooms like a 24 to 70 or 70 to 200 frequently, this isn't really gonna be that big of a deal, but it might be a deal breaker for some people being such a hefty lens, considering that the 35 and 50 are so much smaller than it. Compared to the 50 and 35 millimeter, the 40 millimeter feels odd at first glance because it's so close to those focal lengths, but let's look at this first image here taken on the 50 millimeter. And then let's take a look at the second image taken on the 40 millimeter. And you can see that they are very close, but the, the 40 is noticeably wider, more so than I thought it would be. Uh, but personally, these are still so close in focal lengths that I couldn't justify having both the 40 and the 50, and I don't think it would make any sense at all to have the 40 and the 35. So to me, I would either take the 35 and the 50 if I needed something very, you know, two different focal lengths to work with, or if I was trying to save some space, I would take just the 40 with me because it seems to really split the difference between those two so well. If you're using a newer camera like the D850, 5D Mark IV, or A7R 3 I think it might make sense to get the 40 millimeter because it is really just the absolute top notch uh, if you're just trying to get the best that you can out of that sensor. But if you already own a 35 millimeter, I don't think it would be a worthy upgrade. Same thing with the 50 millimeter. The sharpness is very, very close. The 40 millimeter is really a great all-arounder. It's super sharp uh, from center to the edges really at most apertures. The color fringing is very well controlled. The focusing is extremely accurate and although a little slower than I expected in low light, still incredibly capable and performed pretty much how I wanted it to in almost every situation I used it in. It's also really well built. So if you're a professional photographer looking for a lens that you can rely on, that you, you if you need something that's always gonna deliver time after time for a while, I think this is the lens to go with. Sigma has a very long warranty at about five years on all their lenses, so that's better than a lot of manufacturers and really awesome to see them kind of back up their product like that. So that's really another big bonus that I've always enjoyed even with my lens that's on this camera right now that's shooting this. Um, I don't think you could go wrong with the 40 millimeter and I would definitely recommend getting your hands on it and trying it out for yourself and seeing what you think. And before we totally finish up, I just wanna share a few more images and some video clips that I shot with the lens and the time that I had it, just to share a little bit more of what I got to do with the lens. I hope you enjoy those. This has been the Midwest photo review of the Sigma 40 millimeter art series lens. Thank you for watching.